thinking, oh, this is supposed to be research and I'm shopping for you. I'm shopping for myself, really. Happy Friday. You're joining me on the floor. I'm getting ready to go out and take you with me. So just to hit some shops, like three shops, I think. See what's out there. High street, not luxury, just high street this time. And see what is going on in terms of what are they showing for the like the latest things? Because I'm always curious to know, because this is August. And I remember I told you in last week's video, if you've not seen that, I'm going to link it below. But about, that's my summer edit into the fall, like what you can get now for summer that works in um, the next season. But as well as that, I've always thought that it's just, I'm just curious to see, just outside of looking at websites, what is actually in the stores? Because honestly, I do most of my shopping online. Oh, by the way, this is so good. This is by Danessa Myricks. Oh my God. I just want to do a color on my eye, but in one of these. So do these as a liquid liner. So I ah, don't know which one to do. Um, don't look, don't look, I know. I know you're not supposed to do that, trust me. I'm not stupid. I know it's disgusting. I'm sure all of you are gonna say, oh my God, she just put it in her mouth. It's but I'm just gonna take this and just line it on my eyelid. Back, and I'm just gonna put this on top. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. <gasps> Can you see that? Pretty. Watch this, watch this, watch. Oh my god, have you seen this? Look how pretty that is. I <gasps> love it. It's such an easy way to just get colour without having to faff around. Oh, that looks so nice. You guys, this palette is epic. My rare beauty. I've been addicted to like cream blushes on my face. So this is rare beauty. I have this in a few colours. So I'm gonna go with this one. I usually use Joy, which is like a really orangey colour. See, it's gonna look really nice. And it's super concentrated, so you just need that and a sponge thingy. I just dot it around. Can you see the color? So pretty. Anyway, how have you guys been? How was your week? Um, it is, for me, it's not been too, too bad. Um, the biggest thing is, I'm gonna show you now, is the reason why I'm in my room is because A, I like doing my makeup in this room, but my room is an absolute mess. My studio, oh, it's so pretty. I've been trying to work on my skincare. But the main issue is that I've got two rails of clothing right here, back here and this will all disappear because um, I'm getting a wardrobe system, a custom wardrobe system and it's going to go in, hold on, let me show you, it's going to go here against this wall. So there's going to be, let me stand up, so you're going to see this here. This alcove, this this is going to come out. Michael's stuff is in here. Two chop drawers with my makeup. All that's going to come out. Going to have a wardrobe system built in here, and the other side of this column, which is in the middle, identical a wardrobe system here. And then all of this stuff can go into it. <laughs> you've already seen the bathroom makeover, so that's nothing new to you guys. If you've not seen it, I'll link that video below where we changed this bathroom from looking like something like the 1970s, but not a good version of the 1970s to the way it looks now. So um, I'm not gonna go too much into the house looked before, but just know that this used to be a, a, a kitchen for the tenants that we used to rent to. So that's another story. Hopefully if you've been around long enough, you're, this, all of this makes sense to you. So because there's a lot of space here, I work out here as well. Here's um, just some of my dumbbells. Oh, speaking of dumbbells, I'm still keeping up with my um, at-home workouts with Copilot. Remember I told you about them. I think it was about what? I can't remember now. Was it three months ago? Or was it two months ago? Two months ago, maybe. I remember I was telling you how like, like I've been working out at home and the only thing that's been keeping me going is doing like the co-pilot. So, cause I'm still working out with them, believe it or not. And I say believe it or not, because I'm the hardest person to keep doing uh, a fitness routine. This one I've been doing and I've been taking it with me anywhere I go. So when I was in St. Lucia, I took it with me. It's just basically like having a personal trainer in your pocket. It's a fitness app, you download it. Um, if you've got an iWatch, it's like syncs to your iWatch and you just 
do a personalized workout based on what it is that you're looking to achieve are you looking to strengthen to like get more lean are you what is your fitness goal and then you get assigned a personal trainer a real person so i have a real a real trainer and i told you her name is candice talk on text on through the app and she's been brilliant she caters the workouts to me and the best thing is that i can work out when i want to and that's that's always been a bigger stickler for me with sticking to the gym actually is that with the gym you've got to go when the trainer wants you to go or if you do a class you've got to go in the classes and if you're late for that class you're at the mercy of the time of the classes and if you can't do it then you're screwed you've missed that class but with co-pilot you could do the workout whenever you want like for me i tend to do them in the mornings like about eight o'clock ish give or take um, if I don't have time, then I'll, I work from home anyway. So I'll just do it maybe, I don't know, in the afternoon or maybe I'll do it in the evening. But I just do it when I feel like. What you saw, I've been going to St. Lucia. We went to Paris recently. I just bring resistance bands with me. I'll tell Candice on co-pilot, you know, I'm away. Can we just switch the workouts to, you know, using a resistance band? So I'm never missing um, getting a session in. And I've noticed I've started to, oh, it sounds like an infomercial. I know this is a paid part of the video, but honestly, I have started to notice a difference and I'm actually wearing tops, you know, with my arms out because I just feel a bit more confident now because I feel like, oh, finally, I'm getting a little bit of definition because that's one of the goals I personally wanted. Strengthen up, tone up, have a little bit more definition. Um, and yeah, just, just feel better. So you have an onboarding call in the beginning. You create a goal together and you both work towards it. Um, you also tell him or her what your limitations are. Like for me, I have a knee injury. And because Candice knows that, she gives me workouts where it avoids anything that's going to hurt my knees. And Candice is really cool. I mean, I've mentioned her to you before, but she's such a good laugh. She's super relatable. She recommended the resistance bands that I should get because I had ones, but the handle snapped off. So she said, Karen, no, I got you, get these ones. And um, she sent me a link of the ones to get. So just lean into whoever you get assigned to. You can switch out your um, coach at any point in time if you just don't feel like they're right for you. I don't have time to go to the gym, I just don't. I, I'm not gonna kid myself and say I do. As close as is possible to a personal trainer, um, but without the expense of a personal trainer session. You, you can't get any better than that. So it's, why did I not know about them ages ago? That's, that's, that's the problem. Anyway, Copilot has been named, and I'm not surprised by this statement, one of the best personal trainer apps in 2023 by Forbes. So if you don't believe me, just click my Copilot link in the description box below and you can get 14 day free trial. You are very welcome. And you're gonna come back and you're gonna tell me, oh right i get it now karen at last i have something that's flipping working i know what it was though because it's easy that's why it works i know it's because it's easy and you do not need an apple watch to do copilot you can sync copilot to the watch or the other way around they're able to track the workout as you're doing it so i'll be doing for example and this has happened to me right so this is what i do this is one of my routines that i do don't laugh and all of a sudden, you'll hear on the app, they go, slow down, you're going too fast. Or raise your hands higher. So this is whilst you're working out. It's like a, that's why I say this as close as possible to having um, an actual instructor with you because they're tracking what you're doing whilst you're working out. Is at the end of each workout, they have a, a heat map of where on your body the muscles that was worked for that exercise. I know, it's good, right? Let me know if you try the 14 day free trial. The co-pilot link is below and you are very welcome. I wish I'd known about it before, but it's okay. Better late than never, right? So I'm ready to go. Just wanna quickly show you what I'm wearing. So um, this is just a bandana scarf, waistcoat. These are the, you know, those jeans that kind of like go like that. I'll show you in a second. I really love these. These, let me just come down. Right, that's so cute. Anyway, you can see in the background, this is the uh, where the wardrobe is gonna go. I already told you that. What I'm wearing to go out, I'm not sure about the glasses yet. I might go with either these blacks or these golds. And I'm gonna carry the B25 and that's kind of it. Right, let me just do it right now. Let me just see, what do I prefer? These, I actually kind of don't like these. What do you think? Maybe these? 
or oh, I'm just bring you up a bit. I mean, I'm not going to know until you just leave a comment. But I'm thinking maybe these, these gold ones, which kind of will go with the hair a lot. So I'm not sure if this is just a bit too much, right? Or just go with the. Oh, I do like them though. I will go with these. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna carry these anyway. All right, so let's get out of here and do some shopping. Cos is first. Right, we are in Soho. Cos is right in front of me. So we're gonna hit that first and see what's new and what's interesting and what I think is worth it um, to get for now for the next season. All right, shop window, see what it looks like. Well, wow, already I like that all white look. That is very me. I like that oversized quilted bag. It looks super lightweight. It's probably good for travel, right? Mm, not so sure about this dress, but I do like that bag. Oops, sorry. Hi. Hi. Thanks for not holding the door open. film too much so I could only do little bits and pieces um, I'm going to try two things on one is this dress it looks very simple which it is it's just a strapless dress um, and I just want to see if it fits the way I'm hoping it will right so there's this and it has pockets and then there's this is very basic but I actually really like it it's a jogging pant but I like the horseshoe kind of banana cut of the pant so I think that'd be a nice two-piece set to have because you know in the fall and winter when I'm traveling especially especially when I'm traveling I look for something like this to wear outside of just a cargo and this looks like a good like stylish travel set so let's just see how they look on here it is what do you think it's like I said it's strapless it's a little bit tight across here I feel like I need one size up but I really like it super cool super chic it feels like a piece that I would have in my wardrobe for forever really that's the back and you see it's got a little bit of a back detail there it's so good oh my god what do you think I like it I really like it oh my gosh that is super oh it's so chic so chic can you see it I'm supposed to be showing you stuff to wear into. Oh, but you could wear this in the fall. I'll just put a jumper on top and a coat. It's really pretty. It's super nice. It's super chic. It's chic enough to wear for a wedding. It's beautiful. And I can imagine this with like just stacking like bracelets here and here in the same color, whether it's like silver or gold. I think it looks so chic. Oh, this is supposed to be research and I'm shopping for you. Shopping for myself, really. Okay, I've got the pants on. Oh, they're too small. Yeah, they're way too small. I wanted that vibe of it feeling like it's oversized, like my jeans I have on. And I think because it's just sort of, yeah, it's not really doing it. It needs to be way fuller for the look. I appreciate the effort. Do you know what I mean? In this but it just needs to be like, honestly, two sizes up for it to feel really cool and exaggerated. I guess it's E for effort, but not quite the vibe I would want. I'd want something that just has, I just need to create my own line and just come up with exactly what I want. But this dress, oh, I'm so tempted to get it though. I'm so, I'm so, so, so tempted to get it. looking like okay feels like it's very kind of this is like a statement right sequence during the day okay let's go in
Okay. It's giving full on summer. I'm not seeing a hint of autumn at all. Okay, let's go in anyway. No, it's okay. I'm fine. It's really generous, like around the shoulder area. Very super flattering, feels oversized. Great to layer, just as I did, just with my bare arms. Later on, and obviously over um, polo necks, um, sweaters. Um, and other stories and cos, I liked them both. Cos was really that dress, that strapless dress, that is completely out of season. So I don't need it. So, I, oh. I was so torn, I was so torn. But um, they also had some other pieces that I really like. I like the overall color schemes for the season in cars. I love the blues, for example, like really sort of vibrant but wearable blues. Good accents to go with black and neutrals in your wardrobe already. Um, they got good silhouettes, that's what I like about cars, and they're strong for that. And a lot of the things felt very timeless and they looked more expensive than what they are. That pleated skirt in black, I loved it, I thought that was great. It was a nice twist in the usual pleated midi skirt. Um, it came in another colour as well, I can't remember offhand, but it came like a brighter colour, like a purple or something, or green it was. And of the Stories was, was pretty good. Um, obviously that's where I actually shopped from, 
I picked up that blouse in black with the wide-legged trousers. The trousers are two sizes. I think it's a US 12, the trousers. And I'm usually like a US 8 because I always get things oversized because I thought the bigger, the better with those particular trousers. So I'm gonna do a wrap up when I get home. Okay, hi, I'm back home now. This is the top from End of the Stories. I want to come home and show you. This is it, it's so good, I love it. I'm not wearing a bra, so that's why my boobs are like extra like ping, pointy. They wouldn't be so like ping. It's just so, I just love it. It's just so, so good. Like this, can you see? The pattern on, look at that. Oh, it's just Victorian style blouses will forever be me. I just love them so much. And this comes online in two colors. At the store, the other color was not available. I wanted to see it, it was sold out. But I actually am glad that I got the black because I think the black is going to be more versatile anyway for the fall and especially for winter. I love winterizing um, clothes that would normally not be in that time of the season. And I think a Victorian blouse is a classic example of that. So to get it in black is perfect. And I just paired it with these shorts because I can imagine me wearing it now before it gets too... My fly's undone. No. Before it gets too... Uh cold you know why not just wear it like this because i like that combination of like something kind of girly here combined with like the cargoes but these are the trousers oh my god they're so good i will say that after going to those three stores out of the three i would say it's a toss-up between cos and and other stories those were my favorites i thought the quality was much better overall oh my god there was a skirt that was at mango and I didn't show it to you in this video. It was gorgeous. I love pleated skirts, because remember I showed you the one in, and uh, what was it, in Cos, that skirt? I'll show you here on the screen as well. That skirt at Mango, it's, it's, it's a twist on the pleated skirt. So make sure you subscribe to my newsletter and you will get to see a peek. Well, not even peek, I'm gonna show you that skirt. My newsletters come out every other Sunday, and I might still cave and get it because I loved it that much. And of the stories, these are the trousers. I love, these are so cool on. I'm gonna put them on now. They are way too big for me. Um, you know, it obviously depends on who you ask and whether or not this is worth it, but I think 100% this is. Oh, the combination of these two together is everything. It's so good. And like I said, this is like at least two to three sizes too big. It's a US 12. I don't usually wear US 12s, but I will just for the vibe. Oh, Look how good it looks. It looks sick. Oh God, it looks good. Don't mind my dumbbells on the floor. Oh my God, I've got to cut this off, the tags. It's got like two flat pockets here, but look how long it is on the floor. It just drags on the floor. <gasps> my entire US 11 foot is covered. Take it to a tailor and have them just take it in a little bit. So it will work, compromise this massive volume of the trap. This looks super expensive, by the way, to try it. But I think like this is such, this to me, these two pieces are worth it. That's a good example when you shop high street, because I shop luxury as well, as you well know. Says the one wearing the Hermes scarf. But I've always been a magpie shopper. I love finding pieces from all different price points and mixing them together because it, that's what good style is. And that's the definition of it. It's how you put the pieces together. But I just think this is sick. I even love it with my hair tucked in, but let me just take it out. But this is just so, so good. It's amazing. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I'm so in love with this. All right, I'm out. I'm gonna go now. I don't think there's anything I left to have to say. I'm just raise you up a little bit. I really wanted to just show you those three stores and just compare them. Um, if you want to do that again, let me know. Because um, Do not forget, sign up to my newsletter so you can get that skirt that I talked about from Mango. Don't forget to click my co-pilot link in the description box below and get a 14 day free trial of co-pilot doesn't get any better than that. We'll see you next Friday. Obviously, as you well know, I'll see you on TikTok and Instagram between now and next week, Friday. Give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to see if you like this kind of video. Way faster than anything else is giving this video a thumbs up. It's a really quick way of doing that. That is it. I'll see you on TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram. All right, I'm off. And this looks sick.
and I know you lot are gonna get it. Look, it's sick, right? I know you lot are gonna get it. I already know. 